All right, you're watching this video because you're on make.com, you're cooking up a scenario, and you're trying to connect your Gmail account, but you're getting this error. Now, the bad news is, for some reason, Gmail accounts or personal Gmail accounts don't really work well with make.com. Um, there is a workaround, and this guide right here is exactly what they tell you. Um, but if you're a visual learner like me, I've got them broken down here to the left. I'm going to go through them one by one. I'm not a big fan of videos that ramble, so let's get started. Step number one, we're going to go to this URL right here, console.cloud.google.com. And here you're going to log in with that Gmail account that you intend to use. You're going to select project, new project, give it a name, no organization needed, and create. So while this goes, basically what you're doing here is giving make a couple extra permissions um, for that personal Gmail account. Things like um, writing an email, sending an email, uh, labeling, all that stuff that's necessary for automation. So step number two, we're going to go here to APIs and services, enable APIs and search for Gmail API. Select that, click Enable, and go here to OAuth Consent Screen. We're gonna click External, Create, give it a name, select your email. We can skip the logo, we can skip the domain, we're going to add in two authorized domains. And here we're going to make.com and integromat.com, which if you don't know is what the name used to be before they um, rebranded. Put in your email one more time. Save and continue. And then now we're here on step number two, where we're going to add a few scopes. So we're going to filter first by Gmail API and select the scopes over here on the left that I have listed. So mail.google.com, modify, compose, read only, metadata, insert, send, and labels. There should be eight total, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So we're gonna update. And all of the scopes are listed. Save and continue. Now we're going to add some test users. This is where we're just going to add in our email. So we have access. Click add. Save and continue. And then from here, this is the last step. I told you guys it was easy. Credentials. Create credentials. OAuth client ID. Select web application. Give it a name one more time. Skip this part. And this part right here, authorized redirect URIs, is where we're going to add this little guy. Boom. Go down. Click create. And bam, there you have it. The client ID and the client secret. Now, this is private information. You're going to want to keep this to yourself, secret. Do not expose this. Don't worry, I'm gonna delete this right before publishing this video, so don't try to steal my ID. All right, so copy this stuff, and this is exactly what we're gonna bring back over to make. We're gonna say bye to this error message. Click on advanced settings. Client ID is exactly where that client ID goes. Go back here, select my client secret, and put that where the secret goes. And then I'm going to sign in. And this time, it's going to go a lot better. I'm going to select my account. Thank you for warning me, but I'm good to go. I'm going to continue. Continue again. Let this read, compose, send. All the stuff I need for automating. Continue. And... There we go. You are golden. You are good to go. Now you can keep on building your automation. All right, guys, this is my first video. I hope you liked it. I'm going to be coming out with tons more.
content on automation, um, different make tips, Zapier tips, Airtable, all that good stuff. So if you liked it, subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz, all that good stuff. It's the first time I'm saying that. Kind of feels a little weird, but you get the gist. All right. Thanks, everyone.